Whoa. Not gonna push me into the lava, buddy. Forget that. Forget that. Now who? What? I know you're up there. Take your best shot. Alrighty then. Well, welcome back. I'm, uh, oh, got some, got some iron. And that's junk. I uh, got 26 obsidian. And I just want to get out of here with my obsidian and all my goodies. Come down here and say that, you. Meister. Ha. Gotcha. And, uh, I lost all my dogs. Um, the last dog had to chase a skeleton. Uh, ended up floating down the river into the lava. So, uh, I guess I'll, I'll want my... Jeez, I can't cannot see if those things go all the way up. Well, if I fall back, if I land in water, I shall be okay. This is not gonna go all the way up, is it? There, I got, at least I got some light up there. So I guess I'll go up this one. Right out. Yes, I like to ride it like this. Ride the line, get some nice fresh air as I go. And go alley oop. Woohoo. Okay, this looks like where I came in. Or, no, I was. I came in on that side. Woohoo. What a cave! Oh, there's my torches. Ooh. Ooh, 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 yes. Torches. Follow the torches. Oh, yes, I remember this part. Um, it's kind of fun to ride these waterfalls. Uh, probably not as fast as taking the, the stairs, but... It works. I uh, don't know if it's day or night. Look at all this iron. And I generally... Oh, look at that view. <laughs> wow. Oh, we got rain. So I shall have to collect some bones. Oh, I got 13 bones. And some rotten flesh would be nice. 26 obsidian. That means I can make a portal. And go into the nether and make another portal there in the nether. And I have 6 left over for enchanting table. Or... Um, enchanting table... Um, or Ender Chest, one of my favorite things. And I got 12 pork chops, so don't need any more piggies. Save you guys in case I come back this way. Um, yes. So, I got my house over that way, and I think I... I don't think I left anything important back there. So I'm going to explore. Back to exploring. Bada bing. Which I love. Oh, there's something I need. Sheepses. And I don't want to explore any more holes. But, oh, nice brown. 
But I'm only going to take the white. Because... Uh, let's space my inventory. Hey, you guys eat some more grass? Eight. Wow. I cleaned up. Awesome. I have beds for life. Lava. I like to look around the lava just because um, you can sometimes see some good stuff in the side, but oh, a little bit of coal. Hmm. Hmm. But it is pretty dangerous. Um, yeah, and it would be would have been smart to just get my obsidian from there. Hello? Me not too smart. There's some more sheep. White wool. Why don't you guys wait for me down there? Oh, I'll be back. And I got seven sand. Sands. Sand, yes. Just thinking, um, yes, sand is pretty handy. Um, when you're getting obsidian and stuff and need something to drop down a big hole. Uh, yes, could have collected it from the desert, maybe. Oh, there's a place you already can collect it. These stairs look very organized. But I'm not going to go there. Okay, I usually get creepers to do that, that work for me. So I got 34 sand. Good enough. Too much dirt. I'll dump the dirt when I come across something interesting. Oh, this looks kind of interesting. Like as if uh, something's, some reason it sunk here. Could be something good down there. And I often find things get interesting um, in the line in between biomes. It's my favorite place to explore. Get some real interesting deep caves sometimes or things that are kind of not loaded too well some odd chunks and stuff and sometimes you get extra animals that don't want to cross into the other biome yeah so I love checking out all the different structures and jumping from one structure to another and get a nice high view and see what's out there. This is a good place to leave a mark that uh, I came from that direction and I can use up some of that and some of that. Get rid of this hair of dirt. And just, let's see, I came from that way, I guess. And 
and not too far, so I won't make this too long. Uh, I usually use a code of one for every hundred blocks. Now that's pretty high, but not that high. I think I can handle that. And I don't see any villages. I do see a bit of jungle out there. But I always like to check the check the plains very thoroughly to see if there's a village. Wow. It's a sheep farm. Lots of sheep. I could make something out of wool. A whole bunch of something. There's my mark. It's looking pretty nice. And exploring we will go. Um, always like to find a village somewhere. Um, that's the main reason why I haven't settled down. Um, yes, so you got uh, carrots for breeding pigs and good stuff like that. Once you find a village, uh, this looks kind of interesting. Awfully dark, isn't it? Hmm. It's a sheep cave. A sheep cave, wow. Don't see that every day. Wow. I sure do got a lot of wool. And, um, wow, it's kind of odd that it hasn't turned dark in all this time. And the sun is just setting. Here I am. Where am I? In some extreme hills. So here's a nice little empty cave, which I could put a bed down. Let's see if there's anybody in the basement. Well, that's kind of a thing here, isn't it? Um, if uh, yes, if there's monsters around, then I can't sleep. So yeah, that's kind of a problem. Something to think about. Might be monsters in those caves. And this is like, wow, what is this? This is like a hidden secret. Um, it's a bowl. It's a fish bowl. That's what it is. I discovered a fish bowl. And one thing, if you're like in a weird place like this, uh, surrounded by caves, the sun is going down, I'm going to give you uh, an idea that's worked fairly well for me in the past. If you're thinking about sleeping, uh, this is a one of my more favorite things to do. You don't even have to go too high, although if you go high enough, um, when creatures come swimming up to you, they, uh, well, they can't blow you up and your arrows won't get you. Yeah, so I'm going to put my bed here, sleep under the stars, and have this panoramic 360 view 
If you guys have any ideas about what to do with this area, it's an, kind of inspiring and uh, kind of odd. It's got caves all around to explore. Um, you could put farm farms on the water so, or all around the edge you could have farms going and uh, I kind of wonder what sort of special thing you would think of doing with this area. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Later!